Hi, I'm Pete, and I'm going to give you your story today. Now, if you want to follow along, there's an activity sheet that your parents can print out for you. You'll need some crayons, some scissors, and some sellotape. And most importantly of all, you'll need a responsible adult to help you do the activity. Okay, so today's story is about Esther. Now, Esther was Jewish and she lived in Persia. Now, the reason the Jews were living in Persia and not in Israel was because uh, Persia had conquered Israel and so the Jews were living in exile in Persia. Now, Esther lived in Persia with her cousin Mordecai and they lived together in the same house. Now, one day, the king of Persia, here he is, king of Persia, decided he wanted to get married. So he said, bring me all the beautiful women so that I can choose for myself a wife. Now, Esther was very beautiful. And so she went along to the palace with all the other beautiful women uh, for the king to look at and decide whether he was going to marry them. And the king saw Esther and he went, oh, she's beautiful. I'm going to marry her. And so they got married and Esther was queen. Now, in the kingdom, there was a man called Haman. And Haman uh, was the king's advisor. He was like the second most important person in the land. And he liked it that when people came along to, to see him, that they would bow down to him. Now, of course, this didn't really help the Jews because they were only supposed to bow down to God. And so one day, he noticed that Mordecai wasn't bowing down to him. Probably hiding off in the, a little bit in the background so that Haman didn't notice. This made Morde uh, Haman really angry. And so he went to the king and he said, these Jews are very, 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 very bad people. You should give me a law so that I can get rid of them. And the king went, okay, I'll do that. And off he went. Now, Mordecai heard about this law and he was very, very worried. Now, just to let you know, the king didn't know that Esther was a Jew. And so he went along to Esther and he said, hey, Esther. I think this is why God put you into the palace, so that you could rescue God's people. And Esther, Esther came up with a plan and she prayed. Now you'll find out what happened with that plan uh, next week. So I'll leave you on that cliffhanger. Next week you'll find out how Esther rescued her people in Persia.